Hello everyone, my name is Brian Mank. I'm the Activities Director at Pine Island High School and I'm just going to walk you through a couple of things here today. Uh, first of all, we're going to talk about how to access the Activities Registration. This is new this year. This is a new software uh, program for Activities res Registration. It, it works hand in hand with our existing scheduling um, system so it's going to be uh, much improved but it, on your end it's going to be a change so here's here's a little tutorial i hope this helps to access it you're going to go to the the district website and under activities there's a tab called activity registration you'll click on that once you do that it's going to take you to uh it'll take you to a screen where you've got a couple of icons to choose from so it may take a couple of seconds to load, so bear with bear with it. So this is what the site looks like. There are two tabs here. One for athletic registration. This would be for all of our sports. And then there's activities registration. This would be things uh, like, well, all of our things that would not be sports, such as, uh, well, I shouldn't say sport. There, we've got dance and cheer on here, but those are not high school league activities. So all of our non-high school league activities would be um, on this. So things like math league and the play and uh, things like that. So we're going to walk through this. First of all, the activity registration. So you're going to see what that looks like. And then I'll do a second video for the athletic registration. So. This will take you to where you have to originally create your content or create your account. If you've done this already, it's good. the screen will look different and you'll have to do, you'll choose the, you know, the account that you've created. But this is what's going to look like for virtually every one of you. So you would uh, fill out the, the information. The starred ones are, are needed just like anywhere else. You can leave the other ones blank if you uh, do not want to add that information. Um, this this option here is is strictly for you. Uh, it does not uh, doesn't matter what you you know what you what you choose. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back here also to the home screen. And this is where the physicals would be printed out. And there's a there's a button right here to download the participation physical form. This would be required for all of our athletics, all of our sports. You would not need that for the activities. Uh, so you would download that physical here and then once you get into the athletic registration there's a place to uh, to resubmit that form once you've got it filled out. Now that physical form is needed. To, you'll need to take that after you set up a uh, set up a, an appointment with your doctor to get a physical. You bring that paperwork, they fill it out, you bring it back, and you can submit it online once you go through that athletic registration. And you can always go back and, and submit it later after you've registered as well if, you're, if your physical is not until afterwards. But that physical form has to be on file before your uh, child is eligible to participate in practice or games. So that's essential that you get that done. So back to this, okay, you fill out all that information. Next page is going to take you to the different activities. Now, you're not going to see any sports here. Again, this is the activities registration. So we've got middle school, uh, math league, high school math league, speech. Those are all specific to winter. Then there are some that are we've categorized as year-long just because they're not... They're not specific to a certain season. So all those are listed there as well. Now, if you choose one of them, let's say high school math league, um, you know, that's got a, it's got a fee associated with it and that fee would pop up. Some things don't have a fee, you know, like dance uh, and, and cheer would not have a fee. So if you were to check that, it's going to pop up, uh, but you're going to see that that does not have a fee. Okay, that fee is dealt with external. 
So you would check what you want to register for. You can check uh, as many that are going to apply to you. And we'll head on to the next page. Okay, you have to fill out some, some information, you know, parent guardian information. Okay, next page is going to be some, uh, some medical information. Okay, I need emergency contact. Okay, some of this you're going to see is starred, so it's required, like that emergency contact information. Uh, there's also a consent to treat. Okay, this is allow, this is giving consent for, you know, uh, our trainers specifically to be, uh, to treat your, uh, your son or your daughter if there's a, you know, if there's an injury. Anything that's beyond their scope, they're going to obviously, um, you know, get in, get in contact with other medical personnel or uh, you, you'd be contacted as well. But this is just for some of the minor things that a trainer would treat for. And then you've got, <clears throat> uh, this is more of that form for the medical consent to treat. Okay, next, next page is going to be some of the policies and, and agreements that you'll need to to look over and sign off on that you've that you've looked at those. <clears throat> okay, that it's the activities handbook, and that's going to need to be. Uh, you know, you need to look at that handbook, read it. Yeah, you may not read it cover to cover, but there's going to be some certainly some some things that are are, are going to be of interest to you and your son or daughter. And make sure that you you understand you're really agreeing to everything that's in here by uh, checking off that you've done that. And let's just go back here quick to that. Sorry, the, uh, sometimes it's a little slow. So what's going to happen, you click on that and it opens up uh, the file for the activities handbook. Okay, and this will be updated. Okay, but you're going to read through all that and then you need to check it off that you've, uh, you, as a parent and guardian and also your son or daughter, check that, and then you, you'll you be able to accept it. Okay, we're going to get to the next page. Uh, this is the State High School League eligibility brochure. Very, very important that you not only check these boxes, but that you read them off. You know, this really is your, your athletes agreeing to, um, you know, a lot of these statements on here. And they, they, there are a lot of very important ones that apply to specific behavior expectations and, and things that you need to do as a, as a participant or as an athlete. Okay, so we're not going to go through every bit of that, but there's a, there's a lot there. So take your time with it. Okay, some of it's just some reading, but there are some things you need to, to check off. It does list some penalties for violations. Hopefully we don't have to deal with any of that with your son or daughter. Um, there's a you know, some concussion management information. Uh, eligibility statement. This one's a big one. This is where I referenced before about your son or daughter agreeing to these expectations to participate uh, in a high school league activity or sport. Okay, and then there's a code of responsibilities that can also come into play with some, some possible 
uh, disciplinary action. Uh, but again, this is a very rare thing. Hopefully it doesn't apply to you or your, your son or daughter. And then there's some signature spots. Uh, just a brief sports health questionnaire. This is going to give us some information about the current status of your son or daughter medically. Okay, and then again, some signing. And then you're going to be able to click next. And that should take you to where you can, you can pay. If you've got a fee attached to your registration, that's where you would pay it. Um, so please reach out if you've got any questions. Hopefully this helps. Take care.